Stacy, here's a kind of interesting yellow powder. Put your finger in it. Okay. Now rub it together. Real slippery, oh, isn't it? Yeah, and it's yeah. real thin grains. Very, very fine grains, yes. It's called lycopodium. Lycopodium? Lycopodium. That's the, that's the name of a moss, and this is the spore of the moss. Oh. And we're going to use it as a substitute for flour. So would you light the candle over there, please? Okay. And then put the burning match right into the lycopodium. Oh, it went out? Yes, it went out. Okay, now step back just a little bit. Okay. Because I'm now going to do this. It's certainly flammable, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if it's flammable, how come it didn't go out when you put it in there? Okay, now think. What's the difference between the way it is now and when I sprinkle it over the candle? Well, it's more concentrated there in the spoon. Mm-hmm. And so each little grain doesn't have a good supply of oxygen. Right, and you need lots of oxygen to have a good fire. Okay, and when I sprinkle it over the flame? You get a bigger flame because there's more oxygen. Right. In fact, stand back. I'll give you a really good okay. one. Okay. Oh, neat. Now, I said this was going to be a substitute for flour. Have you ever heard of, of, of flour mill explosions? Yeah, I have in the paper and on the news. Yeah, you see the tops blown right off and yeah. there's a big fire and so forth. Well, that happens because dust, fine dust, which we're going to use this lycopodium to stand for, uh, from corn or wheat or flour, fills the air inside. And then a slight spark of some, time, of some kind gets it burning. So inside of this can, I have a funnel. See the funnel inside there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to straighten it up so it's at the end of this tube. Okay. Okay, in the funnel then, I'm going to put some of that lycopodium powder. Okay. And at the other end of the tube, I will be able to blow. And you're going to put the candle in with it? Yes, I'm going to put the candle in with it. So we now have that entire can filled with very fine powder. So what should happen? The top's going to blow off. Yes. This is one you ought not to try at home unless your parents are around because you're using fire. Are you ready? Yeah. Would you like to blow? No, nope, you can do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you see now why when they have flour mills or bakeries or, or uh, wheat places where they store this grain, they make sure that all that little dust isn't in the air because you're certainly going to have a real good flour explosion.